Okay, we're jumping right into it, you guys. Let's just take, we have three chords and a blues. We have A, D, E, D, and A, and E. Uh, the thing about a jazz blues is jazz players add more chords to these three chords. So you might hear something like this. D, A, E minor 7, to A7, before it goes to the D. And then you might hear it walk into a diminish. Then you can hear A7. Then you're gonna hear it go to F sharp seven. Then B7. Then E E7 or E9. I'm playing all nine chords. Nine. And then it's gonna go back to A, the same chords but double time. So A, F sharp, B7 or B9 to E9. So now we've got these chords to play over. Just A7, so if, if you see me go to a 13 or same chord. just walking into the chord. So all the single notes aren't chords, they're just showing you, uh, just kind of take, t hitting a note and then walking into it. So now what we've got is all those chords to play over. Now let's just get right at it. So the first thing, you know, um, you can really just play anything. Uh, um, just, you know, kind of major, minor, Anything. Just A minor blues scale, right? So we're playing something bluesy. Now the second we get to the D, the second this is going to establish that this is not just th that you're just playing over three chords is you can play an A diminished. It's not really a scale, but it's an arpeggio. It's over the D, so you're going to go. And if you take off the major third of this and you walk up, you are in fact playing an A diminished um, scale arpeggio. Just so. So this is on the same string. Then I'm going to the next string, going to the next string. Same string, and I'm walking all the way up to A. So now I've got... I can play all these in a row because there's three different strings. Then I'm going to come back in a major scale. To A. And that's going to sound real jazzy. After that, I'm going right into blues again. So... Da -da 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 -da. bluesy so that you know I'm referencing that I'm playing a blues so sorry uh, now when we get to D if you guys know your modes in A Dorian mode Is a, is a D mixolydian, same notes. And a mixolydian mode is designed to play over a seventh chord. So we've got A Dorian right here. We can walk, you know, notes in a row. So let's say we go. Um, the last line down we we walk down Dorian and land on that before we come back so now we've got
In other words, this whole... becomes um, jazz ter ter uh, territory. So, you can always just go to an A Dorian there, but let's throw something in the middle of there. So we've got A, we have a diminish. Let's throw in jazz, we call this a 2 5 1, so we're going to play E minor 7 to an A7, and then go to that D and think Dorian. So now we've got just a lick. we've got this and that's really gonna give us a jazz sound because now we're I'm just outlining this chord and then I'm just thinking a mix Lydian back down on the a so And now I can go into that A Dorian, right? Back to A. And now we're going to go down to the... So we play over that. We can play... D domino, we can play D, we can play B minor if we want and outline that. E. Then back to A. And since we're going here and here and here, we can go. I just walked down to that note and then I just walked down to the Over the E. Back to A. So in other words, I'm not you don't have to get that as sophisticated as sophisticated. A Dorian. A. You can just literally take this lick and go. Where that chord would land. So in essence you're playing this. So you can go. You can go. A. Um. Diminish. So we're going to go. Um, and then I can go right into A mix Solidium from there. So basically, I'm outlining this chord, or you can play a Dorian mode over it. Then mix the Lydian. Back to, to when we go to D, then you can mix the minor blues scale with the A Dorian, which would mean mixing the minor and major blues scale with 
over D, A becomes D mixolydian, so you're mixing them both, so now you're... So, A, D, and then... Walking up right, walking right up A mixolydian. So I'm outlining this and then I'm walking. If you were to outline an A7 chord, you'd be outlining a mixolydian. You go. Sorry. Uh, that's not perfectly outlining the chord, but what I'm saying is all the notes in A mixolydian are designed to fit. That's why when we play A Dorian, it becomes D mixolydian. It all fits. So, from the top, we got... Um, if you play really fast and you go... You know, you could run up that scale and walk into the D. I keep wanting to do this, you guys. I'm going to show you something. Because I'm thinking this chord, but when I'm going to the A, I'm thinking A sharp 5. So that's the chord I'm thinking, and that's part of what creates jazzy sounding scales is I'm thinking I'm playing right over that so I'm going into the D so instead of And the cool thing about this 2-5 thing is you don't have to finish it. You can go... I just cut it short right there. I went up. And... Walked to end of the D. I'm just really getting playing this whole whole tone scale. To get to my D. So if I don't have time, I mean you hit an A chord and you hit like this sound over it. I mean you start listening to every whole tone. These are all just the whole tone scales. What they're gonna sound like. I mean, you can use any one of them. If you run across the sound. It's over A7, so you might want to get that sound when you play. In other words, over this dominant chord, this A, I'm showing you, you know, you can like sort of test drive the, 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 the sound. You might want to go.
So, I just know. Can we play right over a diminished, over a seventh chord? So when I get to this, I'm coming down it to get to my D. Now I've got my Dorian. Back to A. Watch this, just straighten the blues. E. Back to A. You know, over this, 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 you know, you can just look at it just like you would. In other words, I, I, when I, sometimes when I get here, I just, I'm thinking about, sorry. I mean, I've already, I've, I'm playing over this chord, so I might go. In other words, I'm, I'm in minor blues. I'm... So when I, you know, that's why when I go, and when I get here, I, I'm, I'm going. Because I'm playing over this, just as if it was the A7, so I'm going. You know, so when you... If you went, I just played just like major minor blues stuff over it. So if you went, or without doing all that run, and it goes here, and you go. This is B minor. I'm just out outlining it, or I can actually come up to D major seven and outline that chord. This is relative minor, so now I'm over E, and I'm like I'm telling you guys. These, you're, you're looking at these chords independently, so if I go... If I had time to get all that in there, I could before I come back here because... So if I get to B and I go... to A. So I can think of each one of these. So I can go. Except if I'm if I'm doing that, it's not connecting real well. So I'd want to go.
then. Back to A. So in other words, they work, but you kind of want to transition. So what's going on, you guys, is that we have this 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 uh, blues, but what what we're doing is we just added chords to it, and now we're we're playing over the top of it, you know. And so let's let's see what we got so far. We got whatever, just a minor. A, A diminish. Then we have this. I'm coming down this, right? And did I just say? We're looking at each chord individually, so I might go. So I don't have to go and think mixolydian. I can go, okay, this is E minor. So I can go. So I, you know, whatever. Your minor notes in that A7 when I get if I would I could it's not really it's really going from like a real jazzy to a really bluesy sound but the point is So, in other words, over this two, you can go play over the A that way, and then and then go there. You know, it is a blues. So when you, if you start up and you end up going, you just this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get. So I just went. So, you know, you can go right, right up this. And then go, I'm going right back into the blues. Before you go there too. So that's another option you have. Then we've got Dorian, A Dorian. play um, just a, you can play a Dorian mode over a minor seven so or you can outline this chord so we're here I mean uh, that's extreme but I'm trying to show you let me let me let me play something just straight bluesy so if I go Said we can mix Dorian with blues.
So we have diminished. So when we go to D, we have Dorian. Or we know the A minor blues scale is going to fit over this D too, so we want, might want to mix a little bit of both. And we, but we know it's going to. So we want to go. We want to go. something kind of bleasy of this. So you can go. Outline this. And then you can come right down. If you know some blues look here. To A. And then I went. to walk over those, um, you can actually um, you can go let's see so that's me playing this You know, um, but I, I walk down that note, and when I get to this, I might go. See, I'm playing the, 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 I've moved so many blues ideas up over, so I don't, I'm not going down there, let's see. There we go, so if I go... So if I went... Um, so I went... Because I'm right here. I have to A. I just wanted to connect real well. That's that's the thing is I'm, you, you can do this, but you know you really want to take off from if I'm here and you go bump 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 bump. You, if you go. So I was here. So I'm looking for E and I see it right here. So if I went. And back to A. It always it always sounds good over this D when I get to the you get to the story. 
to go. I don't know why, but it just sounds good to walk down that chromatic. Probably because we're landing on the major third. Back to A. To So you just heard me go. Over the E. And that's called, we're following, we're playing over the changes. So you guys, that's just kind of a, you know, a, a, an, an overview of how, how, what's going on. And, Let's just summarize this by saying, you know, I hope I showed you a couple ideas that you may have not known, but I want you to have the freedom to go, okay, if I add these chords, it, I don't really, it doesn't matter. And uh, what, as long as what you play over these chords, the whole idea is trying to make it connect and flow really nice, you know, um, so that's what jazz lines are about is following these if I went and I went you know that's just a standard turnaround that I, I could if you guys want to learn that just say hey teach me that turnaround I have stuff like that takes care of that you know, um, but so that's why people work out turnarounds because these chords are moving so fast. But I want you to know, no matter what, they're following. They're being followed, they're being outlined, or they're, they're being played over. And that's what's going on in jazz. If I was to play this chord and I went... I'm going to outline. Now this chord... Sorry. <laughs> now this is A major 7. So I'm going to... Now minor. Now I'm going to play a minor. Minor. 7. Major. Dominant flat 5. There's so many chords, we can get into stuff where we're going. And you're playing over it all. So you go. Now I'm playing over this. And then I'm to this chord, and I'm playing Lydian dominant, which means I'm playing a melodic minor over the D against this. And then I have this to here, to here. So I'm going. So 
I play it over. And now we're here, right? Anyways, you guys, I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'm really trying to um, get it to where you guys can start to do this stuff on your own, you know. Uh, that second progression is a lot more advanced because we've got, like, chords moving everywhere. And um, if you guys want to learn how to play over that second one as well, let me know. And I'll do a whole breakdown just like this of why and how and, and whatever. But this is foundationally how to approach jazz, period, and how to, uh, you know, some of the more common chords that are getting thrown in that you're hearing. And uh, you'll start to hear it all the time now. All right, you guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you guys coming by, and have a good day.